In this video, you will learn how to prepare LEGO Mindstorms robot for Folk Race competition. Folk Race is a competition of up to 5 autonomous robots in a loop track with obstacles. The track may contain multiple types of obstacles, like different track surfaces, walls, movable obstacles of different sizes, opponent robots, and bridges. In one Folk Race game, several robots compete, and the winner will be the robot which runs the longest distance in the correct direction. You can use the driving base LEGO Mindstorms model and attach three ultrasound sensors as shown in the picture. One sensor is attached in the middle front of the robot and two sensors on the front corners of the robot at an angle of 45 degrees. Such placement of the sensors facilitates the detection of the obstacles. We will program the robot to run in the middle of the track. It can be done using PID controller. You can learn more about implementing PID controller in the instructional video How to Build LEGO Mindstorms Line Follower Robot and Implement PID Algorithm. The link is provided in the description. Focrace program is similar to the Line Follower program. The custom blocks Get P, Get I, Get D, and some are the same. The differences are the PID algorithm constants, ultrasound sensor normalization blocks, and additional dead-end recovery algorithm. The left ultrasound sensor detects the distance to the left wall and the same goes to the right ultrasound sensor to the right wall. The robot is approximately in the middle of the track if the distance to the left wall is equal to the distance to the right wall. The difference of these distances is called an error. If the error is zero, the robot moves forward. If it's a positive number, the first motor spins faster, and in case of a negative number, the second motor spins faster. The ultrasound sensor has a blind spot. If, for example, the robot is approximately 4 cm near the wall, the sensor reading will show a large value of up to 255 cm. We can fix this problem by using a custom block named Normalize Sensor. If the robot gets too close to the wall, the sensor normalization block will replace the sensor reading with a small value. There are two cases when the sensor readings can exceed the value of 150 cm. The first scenario is when there are no obstacles, which is rare for the left and right sensors. The second scenario is when the wall is very close to the sensor and the sensor returns blind spot values. It means that we can safely replace sensor readings greater than 150 cm with a constant like 20 cm. If we want the robot to move fast, we need to set the robot speed to a high value like 80. This works well for running forward and making regular turns. If suddenly the robot detects an opponent is close, then the robot should make a sharp turn. PID algorithm can handle sharp turns if we reduce the speed but it means letting the opponent go first. However, we do not want that, so instead of reducing the speed, we need to modify the steering value before passing it to the motor block and it is done in a custom block called Normalize. The Normalize block takes the output of the PID algorithm and the value of the middle ultrasound sensor and transform these values into actual steering value which is passed to the motor block. The smaller the value of the middle ultrasound sensor, the sharper the robot will turn to avoid the obstacle. To improve the robot movement in sharp turns on high speeds, we came up with this formula, where 255 is the maximum value of the ultrasound sensor. E is a constant to make 255 plus E minus middle sensor not equal to zero. K is a constant calculated from PID output and the desired steering maximum values. To calculate the value of constant K, we made a table of possible situations for the robot to run, with minimum and maximum PID output. In our case, it is minus 30 and 30. And we chose to test three different values of the middle sensor, a minimum value 0, a maximum value of 255, and a mid value of 125. If the middle sensor detects that the obstacle is very close to the front of the robot, then we want the robot to turn with a minimum steering value of minus 50 or with a maximum steering value of 50. Using the table, you can increase or decrease constant K till the steering values are within the range from minus 50 to 50. Now, if the obstacle is close to the robot, the actual steering value will be big and the robot will turn. But, in case the obstacles are far, the actual steering value will be small and the robot will run forward. 
We picked the following constants and therefore we got the formula to calculate the actual steering value and we implemented the formula as a custom block called normalize in the LEGO Mindstorms programming language. If the middle ultrasound sensor detects the opponent robot or an obstacle is blocking the way, the robot will simply move a bit back and continue to move forward. This is a simple and effective tactic just in case the robot gets stuck. Here you can see the code of the Focrace program. To test the robot, we suggest connecting the robot to the computer using Bluetooth. This way, it is possible to see all the sensor readings in real time. Please keep in mind that if you will use our code sample, you should adjust the PID constants and sensor distances depending on the track configuration, desired turn radius, robot speed, robot construction, and other factors. And please check your local Focrace competition rules. Good luck in building your Focrace robot!